friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day To Lose Weight on WW. I cannot wait to take you guys along with me today. It is actually a very exciting day. Not only will you get to see all of the food that I eat throughout the day today, there's some fun along the way, a little bit of my dogs, and I'm gonna take you along with me on a couple of open houses that I'm doing for my real estate business. So I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad of food at open houses. So if you wanna see what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW, including bringing my own food when I'm out of the house all day, then all you have to do is stay tuned. share with you guys my protein wise haul I ordered for my giveaway on my Facebook group I'm gonna be giving away a ton of prizes and I also have my 15,000 subscriber giveaway coming up as well where you're gonna get a box of my favorite things so let me show you what I grabbed from protein wise's website you guys know I love my sweet nothings so incredibly much so I grabbed four bags of the peanut nougat cluster. These are one smart point per candy. Now, if you do eat two, it bumps it up to three smart points. The wonderful Weight Watchers math. But one point is enough for me. This it satisfies my sweet craving. These chocolates are the best. Like literally these taste like you got them out of a case at a chocolate store. They are that good. So of course I picked up four bags of the peanut nougat cluster, which literally tastes like a Snickers bar. I also really like the caramel pecan cluster. The pecan is nice and sweet in there. So I grabbed four bags of that. Loving the chocolate covered caramel. This is another really good flavor. It has, it is so good. They're all just so good. Four bags of those. And then four bags of the caramel crispy. So I am stocked up on sweet nothings for quite a while. I also grabbed some more boxes of my favorite Choco Wright peanut butter cups. I love these. These taste very close to a Reese's peanut butter cup and they are only one smart point per cup. You can't beat that at all. So I love these, they're so good. I went ahead and picked up two boxes of the peanut butter, and I really like this vanilla peanut cluster as well. Super good, has really good flavor with the nuts and the vanilla. So I grabbed two boxes of that. I grabbed some protein bars. I've had these once before and they are so good. The points are here on the screen for you guys, but these are grass-fed whey protein bars. They have really good flavor. They they keep you full. They're, they're just really good. And it's the Oatmega brand. So I grabbed the, let's see, what did I have? White chocolate, raspberry, and two of the chocolate peanut. So just to have on hand for some extra protein bars. I really like this Walden Farms dressing. I am not a huge fan of a lot of the Walden Farms products, but these dressings are really good and they are zero calories, so they are zero smart points. So this is a six pack of the one ounce Thousand Island packets. And then she gives you a ton of samples, which is what I love about Protein Wise. She threw in a sample of the Walden Farms Ranch. I've actually never had this one, so I'm excited to try that. She also gave me samples of the coconut almond. I didn't even know that they had this one, so pretty excited about that. And the dark chocolate pecan, so I will definitely try those. And she sent me a sample of the strawberry banana jello. That sounds amazing. So I'll definitely be trying that too. And of course, all the points were here on the screen for you guys. So that's my protein wise haul. I do have a link down in the description box that will give you $10 off of your order. You can't beat that. $10 of free product off the protein wise website. So go check it out. There is a ton of WW product and use the $10 off and save yourself some money. 
So here's my breakfast for this morning. I am having one of my breakfast burritos that I prepped in my meal prep. You guys, these are amazing. It is eggs, feta, sun-dried tomatoes, arugula, and sausage, and they are delicious. And they are only two smart points. And then I'm going to have some cherries. So my entire breakfast is two smart points. I'm also going to have some water as well. So good morning and happy time for breakfast. I wanted to share with you guys my Bath and Body Works haul. I am so excited for fall. It is my favorite time of year. I am running low on lotion and body wash, so I decided it is time, my friends, to move into fall. And then, of course, I needed some more wallflowers for my house. So let me show you what I picked up. So let me tell you what I had coupon-wise. So the body products, so the lotions and bath gels were buy three, get three free. And then the little scents down here the wall scents they were seven for 24 dollars and then i got a free little lotion so for my body scents i picked up the champagne honey and apple lotion oh my gosh this smells amazing the notes in this one are pink lady apple sparkling champagne jasmine honey and autumn woods it is yum this one smells so good so i grabbed that and then this is one of my favorite scents for fall at Bath and Body Works. And this is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And so your notes in that one are Heirloom Pumpkin, Autumn Cinnamon, Ginger Snap, and Whipped Vanilla. So this one, yeah, smells really good. So of course I grabbed that. Also, this is one that I don't remember last year. So let me know in the comments, was this flavor around last year? This is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I love coffee, as you know. So it has pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. This one smells amazing. And then just for fun, this was one of their scents that's going away here pretty soon. This is the gingham. And this one's notes, it smells really, really good. I don't know if it's, oh, there we go. Keynotes, blue freesia. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. There we go. White peach fresh clementine violet and clean musk so i did really like this it's kind of that musky fresh smell so i picked that up and then for bath gel i grabbed the sweet cinnamon pumpkin the champagne apple and honey which i have the matching lotions and then i got this one toasted praline and pecan and this one is poached pear toasted praline graham cracker and tonka bean this one smells so good so i grabbed that and then my free lotion, I had a coupon for a free $6 item, and I love their Shea Butter Hand Cream. So I grabbed the Kaleidoscope, which it doesn't even say what the notes are, but it smells really good. It's fresh, it's kind of a fresh and milky sort of a smell. So that's just a small one for my purse. And then for my wallflowers, I picked up the Perfect Autumn which I'm excited about. This is Autumn Woods. I think the label is adorable on that one. We have Pumpkin Cheesecake, and then another super cute label, Leaves, Apple Cinnamon Cider, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and Pumpkin Apple. So I am set for Bath & Body Works. We just ordered a bunch of candles as well for fall. So they have some great coupons and sales going on right now if you guys wanna check it out. So I am getting ready to head out to my open house, my first one. It is about 9.30 a.m. I'm gonna be stopping for dinner on the way home, so I'll bring you guys along, of course. But I wanna show you what I am taking with me for snacks and lunch for today while I am at my open house. So first of all, I have my adorable Weight Watchers lunch bag. I love this. I got this for free at my workshop. I think I had to buy $15 worth of product or something. So super cute, it's denim, it has this cute little pocket, which is typically where I'll put my silverware. I'm going to fill my Smart Sweets water container full of ice and water, and I'll probably take a water enhancer with me as well. This is something new that I have recently discovered, and this is a different protein shake than Premier. To be honest, I am not a huge fan of Premier protein. I don't think the ingredients are the best, for one, and I just, not a huge fan. So I picked up this iconic grass-fed protein, and this is the cafe latte flavor. This has 20 grams of protein, three grams of sugar, 130 calories. So it is 30 calories less than Premier Protein. It is gluten-free. It is all natural, certified organic, GMO verified grass-fed 
protein and it is still only two smart points so i think in my opinion that the ingredients are a much better than what is in the premier protein they're all ingredients you can pronounce for one it is sweetened with monk fruit which is one of the best sweetener alternatives there is on the market so i bought a whole case off of amazon reached out to iconic asked if they would be willing to give you guys a discount because if you are a protein shake person in your coffee or by itself hands down better than premier protein there is a ton of flavors i love the cafe latte so on the screen is a discount code for you guys there's a link down in the description box highly recommend giving these a shot even if you love premiere just try these and just have something a little bit different on hand especially if you're looking for something that is grass fed i also wanted to point out that this particular protein drink is um, lactose free as well so it is better than the premiere ingredient wise flavor wise calorie wise love it so i'm gonna bring that that'll definitely tide me over you can see here that I have my lunch prep of my fish tacos. So I'll show those to you guys when I go to eat them. My Mexican fruit salad. So I am going to bring some of my chili lime seasoning to just drizzle over my Mexican fruit salad at lunch. Don't judge me on my Easter napkin. But my Easter napkin in a plastic fork. And then I'm taking a package of the WW sea salt tortilla chips. Again, just to have on hand. For dessert with my lunch, I'm going to have the Choco Ripe Peanut Butter Cups. Two smart points for this package. These are amazing. I buy mine off the ProteinWise website. There's a link down below for $10 off your first order. So check out that website. And I'm about to eat this when I get in the car. I'm going to bring a Mint Brownie Delight Built Bar. This will tide me over until lunch. Get me set up for my first open house. And yeah, three smart points, delicious. Built Bar uh, code is here on the screen and there is a link down in the description box. If you click the link, it automatically applies to 10% off and free shipping. Love Built Bar, tastes like a candy bar, amazing. So that's what I'm gonna be taking with me. So let me get all packed up. Let's get in the car and I'll share my Built Bar with you and we'll talk a little bit about what's on my plan for today. Hey guys, so it is 9.40. I am officially on the road to go to my very first open house. I am nervous. I have a car full of stuff. I have open house signs. I have snacks. I have cookies. I'll show you the setup when I get there. No cookies for this girl. I'm about to eat my Built Bar, so that'll tide me over while I'm kind of getting set up for my first open house. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. It's going to be really fun. You kind of get to see what I do as a job, as a realtor. And I'm doing two separate open houses today. One from 11 to 1, and then another one from 2.30 to 4.30. So I'll take you to both houses. We'll kind of get to feel for what it is like to be a realtor, if that's something that you'd be interested in. Or if you know friends or family in any state looking to buy or sell, definitely let me know. I will take very good care of them. So I'm going to head on the road. My first open house is about a half an hour from my house and I still have to put out all the signs and get everything set up and get into the house and get ready to go. So I'll see you guys at my first open house. So I'm officially at my very first open house. This house is older. It is for on sale for $239.9. So I'm going to take you guys through it so you can kind of see what you can get for about $240,000 in the Spokane area. So it's a rather large house, actually. It's just old. <laughs> it's old. So here's the kitchen so you can see. It's just a little bit old and outdated. I mean, it's in great shape. It's clean. It's just old. Back here is the garage and then down the stairs here. I'm not gonna take you guys down, but there's a full basement. So it's just a little outdated. It's old. You've got a living room here, bathroom, which is also outdated. You've got a couple of bedrooms. I do like the hardwoods. I'll give the house that. You've got a couple of bedrooms. And then around the other side here on the main floor, it's interesting. There's a whole nother room over here that leads out here to the backyard. There's these really interesting skylights and this super old fireplace. So I don't know if this is like a second living room, but yeah, that's the first house that I'm at today for my first open house from 11 to one. So I brought some bottles of water here and then look, 
Not today, Satan, not today. I brought some cookies for my guests, but you saw that I packed all my food. And then we have these little open house questionnaires. This is a good way to gauge the price of the house that you're trying to sell. It's also a good way to get information from the people that come through the open house. So I have those on those clipboards. My pen holder is adorable. I also have the flyer for the particular house that we are showing today. Even though it is not my listing, the, the brokerage puts my information on it so that I can hand these out and hopefully gain some prospective clients. And then since I do not have business cards yet, I have this cute little postcard here that I have my photo on. And then on the back is my bio, like a little bit about myself and what I like to do outside of work. So I'll be handing those out to people that come through as well. So that's my setup. So here's what I'm having for lunch. I brought my two fish tacos from my meal prep with me. This is what they look like. They are outstanding. So if you have not seen my meal prep that was posted on Monday, definitely go check it out. Also, I have my Mexican fruit salad here and I will try to link my meal prep video down in the description box. So I'm at my open house. It's just about noon. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna be having myself some lunch. So my lunch for today is five smart points for the two fish tacos and zero for the fruit. So it is five smart points. All right, guys, I'm going in to do my second house of the day for um, open house. This is a new home in a pretty exclusive development in my area. So I'm up on the deck. I didn't quite go down to the road, but basically this is it. So it's nice. It's on the market for 400,000 or 399.9. So it's nice. It has a nice kitchen, living room, backyard. The backyard is pretty nice. Now you're in a development, so there's homes all around. But this is a nice, good-sized backyard. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna take you on the whole tour. There is an up, a main level, um, and over here actually is dining. And there's also a downstairs. So there's an upstairs that you can access from both the front and the back of the home. And then there is a downstairs as well. So right down here. So quite a large home. So this is where I'm gonna spend the next couple of hours. Hey guys, so I'm at my second open house of the day. This one, as you saw, is listed at 399.9, so just under 400,000. Owner was really nice, so I'm here for the next couple of hours. Let's cross our fingers and hope that we get a few people through. On my last open house, I only had three sets of people come through, but it was dumping rain for at least an hour while I was there. So one of the sets of people I think I may be able to develop a relationship with. The other two, I'm not sure. We'll see how it all pans out. I'll definitely follow up and reach out, but let's hope for a little bit better success for this family at this open house. So. I'll share with you guys when I leave kind of how everything went for open house number two. All right, guys, it's about three. So I'm going to go ahead and have my iconic protein shake while I'm at my open house just to kind of get me through the rest of my day. So again, this is two smart points. The link and discount code for this are down in the description box as well. Yummy. Super good. All right, guys. So I'm on my way home from my second open house. Zero people showed up. Zero. That's a higher priced home for this area for my town my city so I'm wondering if that's why but yeah I sat there for two hours and nobody came sad face but I was able to get some work done and have been talking with a couple potential clients so it all worked itself out but I'm heading home it isn't even five yet so I'm actually not going to be stopping for fast food I'm not even hungry to be honest with you um, so I'll probably just eat something at home. Of course, I'll show you whatever it is that I choose to eat. So I do also wanna let you guys know that I did decide to have one of my cookies. I know, I know. I had my cookies and I had my protein shake. I didn't show you the cookies. I completely, cookie, I completely forgot and I left them at the second home. I'm not about to bring those into my house. So I left them there. So. As soon as I get home, figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner. I'll show you what I'm having for dinner. Let's check in on Lola too and see how she's doing. Lola Luz, you feeling better? She doesn't have any bumps anymore. She looks good. She's back to herself. So it's treat time for these guys. 
So they get, they have to sit to get their treats. All right, here you go, buddy. Here you go, Squirt. There you go. So yep, Lola's back to normal. For dinner tonight, I'm just going to be having leftovers. It's now about 5.30, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm exhausted from my open houses and running all around. I have like 7,000 steps from that, so my feet hurt. It was a day, so I'm just gonna have some leftover. This is the sweet uh, skinny orange chicken that I made for dinner the other night. You guys will see this in my upcoming five nights of dinner. It is a total of five smart points per serving. So I'm just gonna have that and probably a vegetable of some sort. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna have for dessert and that's going to round out my day. For dessert, I'm going to have an orange cream smart cake. I love smart cakes, you guys, they are so good. So I'm just going to have one of these with a little bit of fat-free ready with. You can have one of these smart cakes for only one smart point. And they are little cakes and they are delicious. If you wanna pick up the smart cakes, I do have a link down in the description box. Go to smartbakingco.com, enter my code here on the screen and you will receive 10% off of your order. You can't beat it. Pick yourself up some smart cakes. I love the orange. The raspberry, the cinnamon, they are all delicious. So this is my dessert for one smart point, and this is going to finish out my day and finish out my points and calories for the day. I hope you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day on WW. How crazy is it that I avoided all of the temptations throughout today? It is so important to plan ahead, and if you're putting yourself in a situation where you either don't have any food or the food that's available to you is not within your plan, Prepare, plan, bring your own food. It definitely helps you stay on track. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the fun that we had throughout the day today. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one, comment down below, let me know what you thought of today's What I Eat Today, and I'll see you guys all in my next video, bye.